Hi everybody, this is Angel Arts, and I am very excited to announce the finalists for the upcoming Wizarding World of Harry Potter tabletop campaign that I will be posting very soon on my channel. When I first made the announcement for the auditions for this campaign, I had no clue what the response was going to be like. And I was shocked to see so many people sending in auditions, so many great quality people sending in their auditions. And at the end of the day, I ended up with 33 auditions, plus about four or so mock auditions on top of that. And that's, I, I, I am just astounded by how supportive the community has been. I definitely need to give a shout out and a thank you to my friend Andrew or Dawn Forge Cast for spreading the word about uh, the campaign to his channel as well. And the community has benefited so much from it, meeting all these fantastic people. So all of you who have auditioned, thank you so much. All of you who have been supporting this campaign and all of the other previous campaigns that I've done um, up to this point, thank you so much. Um, it's, it's really amazing to find so much enthusiasm um, for this. And I'm just so excited uh, to finally be able to start to determine who the final members of the roster is going to be. But first, there is going to be an interview step. Um, and this, this is a part that gets really tough for me because once I announce who moves on to the next round, that also kind of tells everyone who did not manage to make it into the next round. And please, 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 Please don't be discouraged because if you ended up not making it onto this list, trust me, it's not because I didn't like you. It's not because I didn't like your character concept. It's not because I was not interested in playing with you. Quite the contrary. I, I am very genuine when I say this. And I hope that you guys believe that um, I honestly am saying that I would play with any one of you who auditioned. I would be excited to play with any one of you. And if I could play with every single one of you for this campaign, I would. But that would be really, really tricky and yeah. So um, realistically, um, I have to start narrowing things down and uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's never easy for me um, whittling it down to the top 10. In fact, I said it's impossible, impossible to whittle it down to the top 10. Which is why I didn't whittle it down to the top 10. I whittled it down to the top 12. Because I just could not, with 33 auditions, I could not conceivably bring it down to just 10. So I decided to give myself two extra spots for a top 12 and leave it at that. And even that was ridiculously hard. I mean, you guys have seen the auditions. Like, you chopping it down to 12 from 33, given so many amazing ideas were there and so many amazing people were there, um, it's, it's just going to get harder from here. Because going from the top 12 to the final four... You know what, let's not think about that right now because, or at least me, let me not think about that right now because it's just going to become harder from here. So for those of you who have not um, seen this process happen before, this is what's going to happen in the next few days. So there's, there's 12 people, like I said, um, who move on to the next round as finalists. And what does this mean? Every single one of those finalists are going to be interviewed individually. Um, historically, the interview happens just between me and the candidate. But last year, for the Mass Effect Season 2 campaign, um, I started experimenting with something new where I actually pulled in a alumni um, player from a previous campaign 
to be a guest interviewer for the new candidate, sort of as a, you know, passing the torch, mentoring kind of thing, because they've been in their position before. They've gone through this whole process of auditioning. They understand. And not only does it give some players a chance to play with and interact with people that they might have watched in previous campaigns, um, I also do it so that the legacy players are able to get a taste for DMing and GMing, especially if they've never done it before. Um, so I thought it was very well received last year. We're doing it again this year. And the way that the format of the interviews work is the first portion of the interview is an out of character portion where we get to know um, each candidate as a person and as a player, get a feel for them. And then the second part is role playing where um, the interviewer gets to set up a scene. Uh, they get to take on some character persona to interact with the candidate and pretty much anything goes at that point just so we can see how well the person can role play and think on their feet and you know what directions they take and all that and that's probably my most favorite part of the whole interview process. What's also exciting about these interviews is that you, the viewers, get to participate in helping me come to a final decision. So over the course of the next few days, I will start releasing each interview one by one in the order that the candidates originally auditioned. And as you watch all of the videos, you know, start determining in your head, take notes, mental notes, actual notes, it doesn't matter, for you to start deciding who you think I should put into the final roster. I encourage everyone to please put down your feedback in the comment section of each of their videos and please keep the feedback constructive. Obviously, I encourage everyone to be very supportive and point out things that you really like about each person's video, but constructive feedback is also very valuable, if not more valuable. So don't waste your time if you don't think that what you're about to write is constructive. In addition to that, as you're watching the videos, if you see somebody that you think absolutely, like pounding the table, needs to be in the campaign, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up like. That will give me an idea of who the viewers, you guys who are watching, are most interested in seeing in this campaign. And this should go without saying, but any thumbs downs that happens on anyone's videos, I'm not paying attention to at all whatsoever. So again, don't waste your time. I would highly, highly recommend, and obviously I, I can't stop you from not doing this, but I personally would highly recommend that you fight the temptation of hitting likes right away on these videos and wait until you have seen all 12 videos. Once you've seen all 12 videos, then you can go back and decide which ones you believe are the ones that you really think are the top ones for yourself that you're most interested in watching. And if you're able to limit that to just four likes across the 12 videos, that for obvious reasons would be most helpful to me. If you can resist the temptation of putting up more than four likes. And I'm telling you, it's going to be a lot of temptation to resist because after going through all of these interviews, picking just four is going to be a nightmare. Um, so maybe by going through this process yourself, you will know my pain. Exactly will know my pain of how difficult it's going to be eventually picking the final four. Meanwhile, once all of the uh, 12 auditions have been posted, I'm also going to message each of the candidates individually, each of the finalists individually, and I will ask them to privately tell me which three other players they personally 
want to play with because a big factor of my final decision is not only what you the viewers who you the viewers are most interested in watching but it's also who each of the players are most interested in playing with and i will be taking all of that data at the end of this in order to finally determine who the final four players will be again i cannot stress enough if you did not make it into the finalists please 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 do not be discouraged and please 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 if you are interested audition for a future campaign i'm planning on doing several more campaigns after this and i would love to see every single one of you try again and historically there have been people who have auditioned two times three times four times before they finally got an opportunity to play um so please please do not let that discourage you if you have any questions about this whole process feel free to ask me in the comments below and yeah i am excited and ecstatic to start showing you what these 12 have got because they are bringing it and i am so excited to show you what they have in store for you all what potential they have for this campaign so until next time folks love yourselves and love each other without further ado here are your top 12 finalists for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Tabletop Campaign. Jojo. Gremlin Mike. Leo. Dark Link. Mr. Clef. AJ. Brandon. Pookie. Chris, Callista, Andy, and Sam. Congratulations, everybody, and may the odds be ever in your favor.